We're in today with the legendary R9 Fury X. This is a 2015 video card with 4096 shaders. It's got 4096 megabytes of uh, VRAM running at 1050 megahertz on the core clock, 500 megahertz on the memory clock, 4096 bits bus width. And today we're going to pair it up with this i7 6950X with 10 cores and 20 threads. This is a legendary video card, but the best thing we can do for this, just jump in a couple of games and see how it's holding. Let's go. Let's start with GTA 5. This is the legacy version and see how it's running with 1080p with everything turned on at maximum. I got like 60 FPS here. And the only thing I can uh, do here, because everything is turned on long shadow, high resolution shadow and stuff like that, turn off MSA and see if it's running with uh, more FPS. 60, 70, that, that's it, seriously. Everything is turned on aside from MSA. This is gonna be a very, very interesting performance from this. I got maximum uh, cord load with 41 degrees um, every time i'm putting this video card to test it I'm, I'm like surprised how nice and efficient this uh, uh, gpu is running with hundreds of fps with maximum details it's just astonishing seriously the quality the performance everything i'm actually surprised based on the age you know how this pump how this all-in-one cooler is holding even today but regardless, we're going to put more games because I already have a list of games that I managed to test with this video card. It is fantastic. Some of them, they need to be retested because they managed to get an uh, overall uh, update in some games. And now you can actually see it's performing really well in this. I love it. Seriously, this is an awesome performance. 3.4 gig of VRAM allocated, 2.8 process. This is good. I don't know the voltage values because uh, I actually I didn't pay attention a Last time I was uh, playing with this and now I'm looking at that and uh, maybe it's gonna show me how it's performing maybe it's going under or it doesn't matter based on the wattage I got 370 watts consumption it's I say with 1.2 volts I would say this is the 100% uh, load on the video card temperature is good VRAM allocation is good I think uh, the best thing I can do is just go a little online and see how it's uh, balancing there because here is doing a fantastic job so on this occasion this is good for the video card this is the right uh, condition this computer can uh, uh, offer uh, the GPU in GTA 5 online apparently you're gonna see that uh, the video card it's on 60 70 percent load what the heck is going on Seriously, I got 60, 90, 50, 70, 90 percent load. Oh man, the video card is not fully loaded. I got like 50 FPS in this occasion. It's not a bad performance. I think uh, the best thing to do is just uh, try to um, play the game and see how much is gonna average. I know the condition here it's kind of different for this uh, computer. I know in enhanced edition I have uh, better performance because of the CPU. That's the only problem I have in this case. The CPU is uh, it's not okay in this case. Not gonna lie, it looks and it runs perfect. I got 3.4 gig of VRAM in this situation utilized. The quality is spot on with this, but uh, the biggest influence here is the platform. That is, I got like a 40% load here with uh, 11 gig of uh, system RAM and 18 gig of virtual memory. Not a bad performer. How about if we're jumping in uh, Star Wars and with 1080p and maximum details? I think I have maximum details. Let me check it out. Uh, 1080p, DirectX 11 apparently enabled DirectX 12. It's disabled this one. Motion blur is off. 100% render scale with ultra as a quality. This is good. It looks fantastic. All right, let's jump uh, in a couple of uh, fights here and see how it's holding. It looks okay. 70 FPS here is good. 3.7 gig of VRAM allocated and 2.7 uh, uh, process. The video card is pushing nice FPS here, quality, frame time, everything is good. 15 ms, it's okay, it's not that bad. And actually, see, it's uh, delivering some very interesting performance. I got 25% load on the CPU side with 15.6 gig of system RAM and 22 gig of. Oh, 
I just realized it was an enemy. <laughs> and 22 gig of uh, virtual memory. This performance that uh, the CPU is offering, it's not bad. It looks uh, and it runs uh, great with this computer, this video card in this game. You know, like 60, 70 FPS on average with everything turned on. So can't say nothing bad about it. I think this is a good video card for this game. There is no discussion. It's working really nice in this situation. The VRAM allocation, the, the VRAM process is good. Everything good is good with this because the video card is doing the job under 50 degrees. I'm actually surprised how nice this video card is working with this game, seriously. The quality, the performance, everything is good in this case and nothing, there's nothing to complain, it's just spot on with this. I'm uh, in Delta Force with this and uh, let's see the settings I have here. So I got medium quality, I think I can go even higher on high settings. Let's see if I can, I can do that. Over 100 FPS, it's, it's not that bad, 130. Finish them all. 100% load on the core, 3.7 allocation. Good performance overall. Averaging really nice here with this video card in this game. I got uh, now high quality. I better to put it on high quality. And uh, hopefully I don't have to do a restart on something like that. Until now everything is good. 90 FPS on minimal with 64 on 1%. Ooh, this is good. This is a good quality and good performance from this. I'm actually surprised he's holding this well. Maybe it's got some FSR or something. Still fighting, averaging really okay on this occasion. Voltage is good, performance is good. On the system side, I got like 16.2 gig of system RAM utilized here and 21 gig of virtual memory. It's in the right direction with this. World of Tanks here with 1080p. I got maximum details put on. The, the update came and I was like, okay, needs to see how he's performing with maximum quality. This is gonna be very interesting. In this situation with this video card, it's gonna be quite awesome, seriously. I got 3.3 gig of VRAM allocated and 2.9 process. Not a bad performance from this. It is uh, kind of cool to see. 97%, 95% load on the core. It's good that the video card is not maxed out, but even if it's maxed out, look at that, with 100% load, you can actually see 3.5 uh, gig of VRAM and 47 degrees on this uh, is not that bad shows me that the video card is quite capable of delivering some nice fps in this case on the system side i got like 20 percent load the maximum apparently here with this video card and it's holding okay you know the computer 10 gig of system ram with 17 on uh, virtual memory is writing everything on that page file and it's doing great look at that 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 Stop him! Nice averages, minimal 55. Well, based on the sniping and the bushes, I'm guessing that's the reason why he went 55, but 60 on 1%, it's kind of awesome. So it shows the video card can actually hold uh, this uh, resolution with this quality. It does a fantastic job on actually delivering the performance with 400 watts in the new update in World of Tanks. So I would say this is not awesome. This is freaking awesome, seriously. I want to see the game, how it's performing with the Fury like this. Uh, it's like the video card itself is kind of good and uh, the game is updated and uh, I need proper video card for this game nowadays. So I just said, you know what? Uh, let's enter this game and see how it's running with this uh, video card because it's going to be very interesting. I got three 2.2 gig of VRAM allocated and 2.6 process. All right, let's see. Can we actually play the game here? Duelist revolver. What the f gun is this? So if I unlock this and I put it on balance, because the quality in the game, it's kind of good now with balance. It's got FSR and with a video card like this, apparently it's working really nice, you know? So I understand where it's going this game, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, oh, I lost the feature for all the video cards in order to uh, have a game that can work really nice online. You know, it's, it's working nice with this video card, you know, but at the same time, you know what? Yeah, I don't really want this, seriously. I want uh, older video cards to be able to play the game too. I joined this game for one reason. I never seen this uh, game maxed out with uh, ultra quality. And I want to see if it's actually possible to play the game. Let's see what we got. 1080p in this game, apparently it's uh, mandatory. I want to see this game running with uh, the maximum quality. I don't know how to exit, don't judge me. <laughs> Very cool idea for uh, this uh, video card. Oh yeah, sounds nice, I like it, 
only 2.6 gig of VRAM, 2 gig processed, 100% load on the core. In this situation with this video card with ultra details, apparently I have a standing chance. I want to see if it's possible to actually play 100% load, 100 FPS. Let's do a reset. It does the job in this case with this uh, computer. On the system side, I got like 20% uh, load with uh, 11 gig of system RAM. The question is why I have 472 watts consumption from this. Dude, that's a lot of wattage from this video card than this. It's got like 57 degrees in this case. Every single game that I managed to play until now, it was on low TDP, seriously. I think this game is gonna put a dent on this video card's uh, performance. I don't know, maybe. I wanna see how the, the system is holding here. I'm actually surprised that Planetside managed to put 470 watts on this, seriously, on the, on the meter. And uh, look at this, now Deus Ex apparently with everything turned on, with 100% load, with 3.8. 8 gig of VRAM allocated and 3.3 process, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't reach that amount of wattage that the game Planetside was uh, doing. That's why I entered the game, I knew that the game is going to perform really interesting in that uh, environment uh, with this computer and I was like, okay, if that one is doing this, I think it's going to be totally different. In this case, with this computer, you can see that uh, the game is uh, utilizing it uh, in a totally different way. Seriously. Quality spot on, maximum details. This is Ultra with DirectX 12 enabled. I don't have MSA activated because uh, it's kind of... It's kind of heavy on this, seriously. It's working really nice, the quality is spot on, so I don't have any problems in this case. 70 FPS on average. Let's do a reset here. The, the VRAM is maxed out. I mean, the allocation of the VRAM is maxed out. But uh, I see that I got like nearly 30% load on the CPU side. 17.4 gig of system RAM with 22 gig of virtual memory. Quality, reflection, performance, everything is good here. At this stage, you can actually see it's holding okay, but uh, sometimes it's uh, dropping to 60 FPS. In some cases, it's working nice. It's like, what the heck is going on? I think that if I go on 1440p with this, it's gonna be a totally different performance. I don't wanna force my luck here because I got nice FPS here. Minimum is 53 and 1% is 30 FPS. It's insane how nice it's, it looks uh, and uh, only got 50 FPS here. But based on the wattage is something very interesting. Like I got 404 watts consumption and only 50 FPS. But in uh, in that game, in Planet Side, I had uh, 470. But I got a lot of FPS. I, I don't understand this game, seriously. It's maxed out on 1080p and uh, it's got only cord load. I don't have VRAM utilization. But, uh, only 2 gig of VRAM processed here with 2.4 allocated. And I got 48 FPS. What the? Who's going? Let's see what we got here. 2.5 gig of VRAM allocated and 1.9 process. Temperature on the video card is good with this amount of performance. Dude, the FPS playing here in this grass is insane. Seriously, I got like 30 FPS here with 100% load on the core. I can't see him. There's so much grass here you can't say nothing bad about it because it's doing a fantastic job the video card it's showing me that if i do the right settings i go into the game settings and uh, disable some stuff because even msa turn on with exaggerated look at this graphics even msa is turned on see i have to disable this one maybe it's working with this one I just realized it, that the crisis I, I i didn't manage to take it off seriously 50 fps is still on you plonker video car, seriously, with plonker game. Look at the MS now, 7 MS, with 50 FPS locked. Now, if it's on 50 FPS locked, it feels like a console, you got 328 watts consumption. I mean, the quality, performance-wise, this is all good. Even with the uh, uh, anti-aliasing off, you can actually see, it's nice. If you have the opportunity to save one, if you have the opportunity to put one on the side, it's good. There's a couple of... GPUs that I will go for instead of this one instead of actually going with the X series you can go with the normal one or the nano 
they are in the same page line and i think an r9 uh, nano is it's fantastic and uh, i definitely need to put that video card more often on on the benchmark side there's a lot of options from this uh, area with hbm memory and it's fantastic i think i need to put my hands on the next generation i think it's called what hbm2 or something and uh, it will be very interesting to compare with this one but uh, all I can say is that I'm very proud of having a video card like this. I don't know if you can have the opportunity to buy one. I don't know how long it will hold the pump or the radiator or the system, the cooling system. But until now, apparently it's doing a fantastic job, you know, on actually surviving. It's 2015, it's got 10 years old video card and it still managed to do the job you know the cooling system and i can appreciate that and um, i hope it will survive more that's it i think the next uh, category of games that i want to put on a video card like this needs to be uh, older i want to play some older games with this that is going to show me that this video card can actually do the job i want to take a look and see if i can increase the resolution if i want to put uh, older games and try to max them out i think it's going to be a very interesting test with older games but uh, if you have any suggestion aside from that i think it will be fantastic if you can leave a comment that's it and uh, tell me what you want to see I like it, I recommend it, it's awesome, only if you can find it uh, with a decent amount of money, that's it. If, it. if the video card is cheap, don't let it go to a recycle center, that's it. Alright, good card, I will see you very soon.